Hello, and welcome back to another episode of Laying It Out. I'm your host, Scotty Dempsey. And I'm Chelsea Pockets. And this week we have a pretty hefty interview. It was a ton of fun to do with our uh, former coach and current friend, uh, Matthew Lubitz. (laughs) And um, before we get into that, uh, there's not like a whole ton of new stuff to uh, cover just because it's just such a long interview, except for the fact that it is blazing hot out. It's really fucking hot. It's like 95 degrees. I got two emails from different leagues that I'm in about like heat advisory and only play so many points before taking a water break. And we only have nine people for league today. I'm a little nervous. Oh. I'm going to email and see if there's a pickup list that we can pull some people from, but it's yeah. not looking good. <laughs> Yeah, I would not be motivated to play today. I did go to a second club team, second round or second open tryout for a cool mixed club team that I tried out for that I talked about last last time in the last episode. Um, I had a really great time with them. Again, it was 1,000 degrees and <laughs> I'm also a little bit injured. So I guess it was kind of the best of both worlds if you know, I make it and all that jazz. But it's a ton I've, of fun. I have a feeling you'll make it. Yeah, fingers crossed. Maybe by the time it comes out, we'll know. If this episode comes out, we'll know for sure. But um, I, I had a frisbee pack weekend. I did Philly women's tryout Saturday, and it actually like rained for like halfway through the practice. But the lightest rain ever imaginable. It was like someone was misting you. Yeah. Do you remember Hayen would have? Um, yeah, like the spray show? bottle. He bought an empty, never been used, um, like pesticide sprayer and he would fill yeah. it with water. And during like timeouts and huddles and stuff, he would just walk around and spray us. It that was felt the like best. That, but in the middle of a tryout, and it was so good. Yeah. But then the opposite, the next day for Peep Show, it was so hot. It was from like three to six, and it was like 90 degrees, and I wanted to die. But we took a lot of breaks, which was good. And now. Yeah, Sunday was hot, and it's only getting worse, but we're recording this on Wednesday, and it's supposed to start storming tonight here in New York. Just in time for July 4th weekend. Hell yeah. So, I don't know about fireworks, but I'm hoping Don't do fireworks. (laughs) Half the the country is dry and... and I'm not doing... I don't know if, like, the city's planning fireworks. There's usually a show over the river. But I'm not doing anything. Are you kidding? I don't have... Well, no. Not not you. Don't you. Well, yeah. just don't... I wouldn't trust you to light a fire. Just like, <laughs> Thanks for that vote of confidence. I wouldn't trust myself. I wouldn't trust any of our friends to light a firework, if that makes you feel better. That's fair enough. All right. Well, yeah. Like we said, this is going to be a short intro because our interview slash not really an interview, <laughs> you'll see what it is when we explain it, is pretty long. So, yeah. Um, Ta-ta for now, and we'll catch you later with Lubes. Woo! All right, welcome back, everyone. We are here with a very special guest. We have 2018 D3 Coach of the Year, Big Chungus, Matt Lubitz. (laughs) (laughs) Thanks for having beer. me. First time, long time. Cracked a beer. Had to celebrate the uh, the occasion. Hell here. yeah! I'm uh, loving the pod so far, and uh, congrats on your your best pod yet. Yeah. Well, we'll oh, see. One? We're gonna see how this goes. This one. All right. So uh, the reason you heard we it here have, first, folks. Yeah. The reason we have Lubitz on today, also known as Lubes, also known as Ten Thousand Eighty Five. Many. Because that. Lehigh, Lehigh random name generator. Um, if you know, you know. I, I met, I saw Lubes in person on Monday because our LVU league got rained out. So we were getting chicken tendies and beers and whatnot. And uh, we were started talking about the podcast and stuff. And I was like, hey, like I've wanted to have you on for an episode because you're, you're a big fan of the pod and you're our, our college coach. Big fan. Um, but I was trying to think of something that we could do with you that would have been fun. Because I think just bringing you on to talk about coaching was a little boring. 
That could be like a later episode, later episode when you run out of stuff serious. to talk about. Yes. But I did have an idea um, when I was with Sponge. Um, he watches someone called John Boy and Jake, and I had to write that down because I forgot what it was. But they do um, random like draft episodes, and the one that I watched was where they draft the Earth. And so they gave them uh, – they got different categories, so they had to pick like – a natural disaster. They had to pick a temperature range. They had to pick precipitation. And they just kind of like drafted their earth, if that makes any sense. And at the yeah. end, they were just like, oh, who has the coolest earth or whatever. <laughs> but I wanted to do that. And this is what we're doing today for your ideal summer league. So for the categories that we will be drafting, we, we have come up with as a group, we have warm up song. Uh, your after league meal, drink, and food. We have sideline snack. We have your ultimate player of choice. You can pick any ultimate player in the world to play on your summer league team. Uh, professional athlete, man and woman matching, so you get two. And this will maybe there might be a lot of debate on this. I saw um, someone posted again on Twitter the old. Will pro would professional athletes be good at ultimate frisbee? Would could like some? I I also don't think so. we're, we're I don't, gonna get heated on here. <laughs> we're gonna get we're gonna have a debate. Um. So yeah, man and woman matching professional athlete. Uh, climate. So we're gonna pick a temperature range and your weather. Uh, day of the week they are gonna have league on. Jersey type. Favorite league stereotype, which we'll get into a little bit more when that category comes up. And then draft strategy. And that could be any draft strategy. Yeah. Um, and the way this draft is going to work, we have not picked the order yet. We will do a random number generator. Whoever has the highest number is going to pick our draft order. We're going to do a snake draft. And then the way this works, you can pick to choose the category in any order that you want. So if Scotty's like... I really want to have red jerseys. I want to make sure I can wear my favorite color on the field. <laughs> she's going to draft jersey type first, and she's going to pick red. And if she picks red, that means nobody – Lubes and I, our teams, we can't wear red when we're at Summer League, which sucks. Um, <laughs> no. <laughs> that was just my lame An choice example. of red. Yeah, so that that's just kind of how this goes. We're going to um, get this random number generator going. We're going to – Choose our picks. We're going to defend our picks. And at the end, we're going to figure out who has the best summer league. And I was also thinking for our listeners out there, we should put it out on Twitter. Put a little poll out. Ooh, definitely want to do vote. that. Who's going to have the best summer yeah. league? Okay. Here's how it's going to go. It's going to go Scotty with the first pick. Okay. I'm going to go second. And then Pockets at the hot corner. Hot corner. Rocking the snake. Okay. So we will get this going. Scotty, what is your ca first category going to be? All right. Uh, we talked about this a little bit because you sent it in and I said, uh-oh, I only know really one professional ultimate player. <laughs> so I'm going to go with Marquez <laughs> Brownlee on my summer league team. <laughs> All right. Going big. Going with the big star. Which is definitely not something I need to defend. Um, I might need to defend the fact that I have an Ultimate Frisbee podcast and do not keep up with the AUDL, but uh, that's neither here nor there. Well, I'd like to also specify, I just said ultimate player of choice. Doesn't have to be a professional Fair ultimate enough, player. But I'm here to win. Lubitz. Lubitz is next. It's me. So I think that that's a good first pick. Marquez Brownlee, local boy. Uh, he is I am also going to, I'm going to go with ultimate player of choice as well. Oh. Um, and I'm going to take Alex Snyder of cool. San Francisco Fury or formerly of Fury. Maybe I think she coaches or something now. And so she is just an absolute legend. Just been playing forever. Handler, like the classic, like center handler. Doesn't matter. You get like a stormy day, super windy, not a problem. She's never thrown a throw that's wobbled in her life. <laughs> she's seen everything. Uh, you're going to try to run zone. She's going to kill it. It's just just a perfect, I feel like just a perfect. And plus you get like that vet presence too. Just like someone who's seen it all. Yeah. Perfect. All right. I feel like perfect. you two are, are drafting to win some really. Yes. <laughs> I'm that's just out. my first pick. Just my first pick. Got to start out strong. Okay. Y'all you know? are starting out strong. 
Good, good pick. Good pick. Okay. So I get, I get the tail end of the draft. So I get a double pick here. So I'm going to go for the two things that I care most about. My <laughs> personal comfort and the people around me. <laughs> so for my first pick, I'm actually going with league stereotype. Okay. And our idea with this category is just like that person that you always see at league. All right. Like every, any league you go to, there's always going to be that person. My league stereotype that I'm picking is the crotchety, grumpy old man handler. <laughs> That's like at least 35. And my reasoning behind this, one, they're always like my favorite person <laughs> to watch on the field. <laughs> Two, we are exact opposite players and opposites complement each other. So they're crotchety and old. I'm young and spunky and like to have a good time. <laughs> they're handlers. I'm cutters. It works. Man you. matching, woman matching. So I'm hoping this like opposite energy is going to going to complement each other well. Also on Peep Show, we have our two crotchety old <laughs> <laughs> Shout out. <laughs> Shout out to Han and Tom. They're my favorites. Um, Han always throws to me. He whips it to me in the end zone. So that's why I'm picking for my first pick, league stereotype, old man handler. The Spe- crotchety old man. That's specifically grumpy, crotchety type. So... <laughs> um, my second pick, I said for my personal comfort, um, I'm going to go with the climate okay. for this. So we're going to go with the 70 to 79 temperature range. And we're going to go for like slightly cloudy, no wind. I just want like, I don't want to sweat too much. I don't want to, I don't want wind. I don't want too much sun because I burn. <laughs> oh, taking so the no wind. Like nice. Early. That's yeah. a good move. Yeah. So I'm taking. I had I had that temperature range on my board. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, I'm taking temperature Huge. range. So <laughs> a little clarification. So since I've picked, we picked climate as one big lump. No one can choose the seventy to seventy nine temperature range. No one can choose partly cloudy. No one can choose no wind. And I feel like that's a big big pick. Climate's a big one. It I is. think it's in everyone's top. All right. Those, that's that mine. is that's a huge pick. That's it's so all encompassing. Okay, let's see. Now that I'm on the board, I am going to go with Oh, so much still available. I'm going to go day of the week. Oh. Oh. And you know what day I'm going to go? I am going Monday. Monday. Hot take. I'm going Monday. And might be controversial. I think early in the week is better. Um, I think especially like if you're working Monday through Friday, it helps make those like the early days in the week that you just dread coming off like Sunday. It gives you something to look forward to, uh, makes those days go faster. Yeah. You know, you're maybe putting in 50% at work cause you're really <laughs> thinking about the Frisbee game later. Uh, and, um, I think that like if you play club, Obviously, tournaments on the weekend, so you might be tired, but it's still like, it's like a good tired. You show up, maybe you're a little sore. You get to recap, like if you're at different tournaments or the same tournament, like on different teams, like you can recap with your friends, like how it went and how you played and stuff. So I think Monday, um, here in LVU, Monday, we have a, in normal years, we got a Monday league. That's always my favorite. That, I just got to take that while it's still available. I feel like you're wrong, so. <laughs> Ooh, I also, well, I'd love to hear what day of the week that I you say. I, 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 I have a good day but of the week. We'll get there because I don't want to waste my pick so early Ooh. for um for a day of the week. Uh, I think yeah. I think I gotta come in hot with um the climate. Also, I'm gonna go a little climate. colder. Um, I'm gonna go 65. Exactly. I mean, we can do like just 65. Yeah, we can do exactly. 65 to 69. Ha ha. But um. <laughs> Well, you could like nice. fuck over Lubes also by taking the sixty to sixty nine, because then he's either stuck in the eighties or the fifties. Yeah, I feel like you got to take the whole the whole Fine. range. I'll take the whole range. I'm thinking <laughs> you can specify, but take. I'm the whole thinking mid September. Um, the number of Earth, Wind, and Fire parties that we have missed out on from having <laughs> tournaments on the twenty first of September. Um, I I love a fall tournament. I love when there's just like a little bit 
chilly, you can wear a long sleeve under a short sleeve. And then people also don't judge you for wearing three quarter length leggings because when it's hot and then I have to explain to people that I don't wear them because I don't want to get burn like turf burn or grass burn on my legs when I lay out because I don't usually it's because I don't want to get sunburned on my legs. And that's why I decide <laughs> to sweat through the leggings. So uh, outfit choices, defenses aside. Um, I love when it's a little cold. I love the fall anyway, mid September. Um, we'll go, we'll go sunny. We'll go uh, when it's sunny out. Um, are you, uh, you just you were just like I don't want to get sunburned. Yeah, which is but why when I it's cold, when it's cold enough that you can stay covered, and then it's sunny, it, that like keeps you a little bit warmer, um, and then you're also okay. less concerned about sunburn. And um, I don't know, do I have to choose wind? I mean, I feel like whatever the next choice is, step is from like you have to have some wind, some wind, very little. wind. I said no wind. You can go little wind. Yeah, we'll go little wind. So <laughs> little wind. Um, Picture like the ideal September day. The leaves have turned. Um, I, like so, you want to take Instagram pictures because it's so pretty. Scotty is reversing <laughs> climate change by putting the fall in summer. Yes, that's true. You heard it here first, folks. Thank you, Scotty. What a service to the earth. <laughs> Scotty's saving the earth. That's, uh, one hey, draft at a time. All, all in a day's work, you know, over here on the pod. That's such a good pick, though. That's such a good pick. I feel like the like the early to mid fall college tournaments. That's just like as pure of an ultimate experience. It's a dream. I love that so much. Yeah. It's so good. All right. Perfect. Snake draft in my, you're doing a double pick. Um, huh? I mean, I can really open up the, uh, the the floor for debate and go with professional athlete. Um, we're I'm going to go with a women matching player first. Uh, I've been watching the Olympic gymnastics trials leading up to recording this podcast. So I got to go with the goat Simone Biles. I believe that she would be a great pick for an ultimate Frisbee for summer team, summer league team. And I will defend it now. Why? Um, you guys say why? So stature aside, I mean, I think one of the cool things for ultimate is that you're, like you don't have to be, there's no like ideal body type. I guess there is like when you get way up there as there is with all sports, but like there's a way to play really well with like when you're shorter, which I feel like I had to figure out. Um, and so Simone would definitely figure that out. She knows how to use her body. She is definitely very fast because you have to have a lot of speed to do like all those flips to like run into it. And she definitely has like very good reflexes and ability to catch because you see those girls doing bars. It looks really easy. And then like, I don't know, I guess I watched a lot of gymnastics videos, but I've like started seeing videos about like people learning how to do these like crazy, like release and flip and grab it again. So She's definitely got to have good hand-eye coordination to be able to, like, do a bunch of flips and then grab onto the bars again. So she's really kind of, aside from being the GOAT, like, she's got a lot of the (laughs) necessary skills um, that, like, you might need, like, at a baseline summer league level game. So you could just send her deep. She could definitely jump really high, grab it, maybe do a backflip on the way back down. Isn't she, like, four feet tall, though? (laughs) I think she's, like, four... (laughs) ten... Let's look at it. I feel like the half the half the women we play against the, at Lehigh are four feet tall. Yes, so that's fair. I don't know. I right I in. like I like your bringing in the hand eye coordination. That's not something I thought about. Yeah, but you mentioned speed. They just run once. Yeah, one straight line. But you do have to have like pretty good cardio, I guess, to do those um, floor routines. I'm, I, I'm like deeply watching gymnastics on the side. I also, I'll I'll give it to you. I'll I'll say that's a good pick because I just don't understand gymnastics. Oh, she's she's twenty four. Yes, she's oh, she would pull down some crazy catches. Yeah, she would be she would be yanking stuff all yeah. over the place. It'd be crazy. Yeah. But would she spike the disc? No, she's too respectful. Oh, I like it. She's four eight. Oh, she's so tiny. <laughs> she's my queen. All right, Lubitz. Back to you. All right, Scotty, the two in a row. Okay. Um, wow, so many categories left, <laughs> and I feel like you're not going to take any of my choices now that I've revealed how hot take I am on this. <laughs> um, I am, I am going to go with Jersey type. Okay. Ooh. Okay. This is the one. And I'm so sure. I'm going to. Yeah. This is. I think this is a, an important one. So I'm going with the league. Each jersey is the same, looks the same. It's got the same like logo on it. 
it's either either like the league if the league has a logo or if the league like for this for the year has like a theme um then that theme logo like i played in the summer league that every year was a new theme one year was like star wars another year was like ghostbusters but it's all different colors okay so this is it's this very is specifically specific. what lehigh valley ultimate <laughs> Used to. I, we don't really do that. Now it's, it's, it's different. I don't want to give away a pick here, but I, so this is like, so you're, you're talking like, I just think like it's such a quintessential summer league experience to just refer to the teams by their colors, regardless of the names of the team. Like, oh, we got blue this week, or like, I can't believe we lost that game to <laughs> red or whatever. Like, I think that's just such a perfect summer league. It's just so summer league. So that, that's, that is my um, that is my jersey type. I think anything else relating to the jerseys, whatever you want, but that is just the one logo, different colors. All right, I like it. No, that's a respectable choice. Definitely. I am also so I have a double one. I'm also going to go with jersey type because this is something I I care a lot about. Um, I'm going to steal <laughs> the reversible penny. Ooh, that's a good get. Because I hate bringing two shirts. Because what I do is I'll bring one of them, probably have to change immediately once I get there, knowing my luck. And then I put the other shirt in my bag, and then it sits there for weeks, and then it smells like cleats, and it's gross. So I just like bringing one shirt. I also like no sleeves. I usually roll up my sleeves when I play anyway, and people make fun of me for it. <laughs> um, so yeah, reversible. Got you off the guns. I don't have guns. I have scrawny little, <laughs> scrawny little noodle Damn. arms. Damn, are you flexing? <laughs> I <got> scrawny <laughs> little noodle arms. I can't. Oh my god. I think we may have talked about this on a previous episode or whatever. But when we would do winter workouts. Um, one of the ones that we did was like, like benching the bar. No, it was it's called bar. literally just bench press. And pockets bench couldn't press. bench the bar. <laughs> I could not bench the bar. We had to find a smaller, like 30 pound one for me. So I also can do like five push ups. Um, so yeah, I really want reversible pennies to show off my wicked arm muscles. Um. <laughs> I feel like the reversible penny, that's got like a. It's like very, it's got a high utility, but a pretty, like if you screw up, like the penny that you get, you either get some like pretty serious chafing if you're not wearing anything underneath. Or one time they, I was in a league where they bought like lacrosse pennies, which do not fit if you're not wearing pads. And that's just that they had reversible pennies and they were just these big baggy. Oh, it's the worst when they're like long pennies. and you look like. Um, oh, it was so bad. And they were, no, they were wide. Yeah. That was the problem. They okay. were, they were so wide. Awful. Then you look like, like the shortest high, high kid on like, your middle school floor. basketball team. So <laughs> you bring up, you bring yes. up chafing. I wear a sports bra. <laughs> That's not an issue. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's it's an issue for for those of us who would like to just wear the penny. Yeah. So no, that's I I'm okay. Like I have a lot of good reversible pennies. I think Scotty designed one that looks really cute for Wildwood like 2019. So I have a lot of pennies. I like wearing my pennies, and I will keep that. So that that's my first pick. I get the double one. I'm now gonna go with day of the week. Um, okay. I strongly disagree with your choice of Monday. <laughs> Ooh, I'm uh-oh. picking Wednesday night league. Ooh, because that's it's smack pick. dab, it's smack dab in the middle of the week. I have something called um, living for the weekend, like all the other millennials and zillennials out there, where I hate my job. <laughs> So I spend all my time waiting for the weekend when something fun happens, like usually Ultimate Frisbee. But if you have it Wednesday, it's a nice little break in the middle of the week. It's something to look forward to that isn't on the weekend. Like you said, Monday. Monday's right after the weekend. I already had my fun on the weekend. I need a little bit of a rest day. (laughs) And then also, if you do have a club tournament, like you were saying, like, oh, it's a good sore. Usually I'm the one that's limping the day after, like, a tournament. So I'm going with Wednesday. I have the two-day cushion if there was a tournament, I have the two-day cushion if there is a tournament, and I have that nice breakup of work in the middle of the week. That's good. That's a, that's I can respect a Wednesday. I think there's a wrong answer to this one, and 
you didn't choose it, so that's you're you're in the clear. I'm here. afraid I'm going to pick okay. it, but I have I've had a definite answer. And neither of you have chosen it yet, so we shall see. Okay. Okay. Good. All okay. right, Lubes, you're up again. I'm up again. All right, so I am going to go with. Oh man, see, there's so many answers for all of these that I don't feel like there's any anything that you're going to take of mine that I need to take now. So I'm going to go with warm up song. Okay. And it's time for me to get back in touch with my basic <laughs> white girl <laughs> roots and go with. Well, maybe not so much, but I feel nice for what my Drake is going to be my pick. Yes, <laughs> and it's not. I feel like it's just like such a, it's such a bop. It's a good summer tune. It doesn't get you too hype, where you're like ready to like go crazy on the field or anything like that. Like you might need to for if you're playing club or like a college tournament or something like that. Just like a good chill song. It's a bop. It goes, whatever the kids are saying these days <laughs> about it's music. Lit. It slaps. Anytime so. Lubes brings up Drake, I get flashbacks to our tournament in 2018 where we gave him, like, <laughs> control over the Twitter. <laughs> and he just, like, kept re- or, like tweeting that God's plan. The gift, one Drake's, gift. like, humming, hugging someone. <laughs> And it's the one gift. And then it was it was an ultimate tournament. And I think the tournament director was like, well, it's so cool. You guys are like the God's plan team. And I'm like, okay, <laughs> yeah, sure. Sure, sure. And that's when you spelled my name wrong. You spelled my name Pickett. Uh-oh. Oh, the beginning of Pickett's. The beginning of Pickett's. Uh, I'm picking up with yes, the next round you of got draft. your double pick. Um, okay. So... I'm definitely in Lubes' boat about the, uh, you know, I feel like everything we, we've kind of picked away, like the the hottest um, the hottest picks. So I'm going to go with Jersey type. <sighs> My issue is, like, I keep thinking, like, team tournament, club team draft, and in reality it's summer league. But um, I guess I got it. I'm going to I'm gonna stay loyal to myself, and I'm going to stay loyal to what the people tell me. Um Sun hoodie. I know it's the summer, but you do need a sun hoodie. Most popular item that was ordered in that uh, in my most recent swag order. Um, definitely trying to get some more sun hoodies in my closet because I have two, but I only wear one of them. So, you know, even though it's like hot, it's a great sideline thing. Um, You're gonna make your entire summer. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Where, okay. okay. Yeah. That's. I guess that's my hot, like literally take. So. She's got to take a sun hoodie because she chose sunny te- uh, weather. Yeah, I know. So I got to stay protect, covered, man. She's got to oh, protect also, the You team. also got the sixties, so that might be a little bit cool. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Ooh. I see it. I see it. It all. It's plays. all coming together. Um, <laughs> all right. I guess, and I'll, I'll round out also day of the week. I'm going Tuesday. Um, I, I'm a big. I'm a big fan of the front of the week, um, league game. Uh, League game, game, league game. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> but yeah, Monday's a little bit too close after like a tournament or a long weekend to like get back out there and run. Tuesday, you're not really as sore as you were from the weekend, but you're like you have enough time to recover. Like especially if you like tweak something, playing weird, um, that like you'll be all set for like the following weekend if you have like a club tournament or practice or something that you want to like play a lot better at. Um, Again, great way to break up the week, um, and that's that's why I go Tuesday. I hope that was not the wrong answer. Like, no, was the, Tuesday the Tuesday answer? is the final. The wrong answer is anything after Wednesday. Yeah, oh. I literally, right before we got on this call, I was doing parking lot duty for their Friday Night League. Ugh. I mean, to be fair, Pat is, Pat is a lot of fun. Like, the afterwards, Flex. you're just out there, you're grilling. Wednesday night, like, we finished up games, I took off my cleat, someone handed me a hot dog, someone handed me a beer. And I was like, perfect, this is all I need. I feel like you're giving away some answers to some other categories here, Pockets. <laughs> no, Pat, you know, look, I'm not taking anything away from Pata, and they have so many games that they have to fit in, so, like, they gotta yeah. do what they gotta do. But a Friday game, like, you're talking about... How Monday is bad because you're going to be hungover from the weekend still. But like, man, Friday, like you're playing on Friday. Yeah, like it's you're not going like super late or anything like that. But 
I, I feel like that's tough. That's cut. That's uh, cutting into the rest of your life a little bit. Yeah. yeah, especially now that I'm in the city, you know, got places to be. That's right. You got shuffleboard to play. Got dinner plans. <laughs> shuffleboard. <laughs> shuffleboard. All right. Those are your two. Those two are picks. my two picks. I would say that like Thursday is an okay day. Thursday would have been my second pick. Mm, Just because, okay. again, again, as much cushion between the tournament that I possibly just played and league because my body hurts. A lot. That's fair. But Lubes, you can go next with your pick. All right. Um, I'm going to go now that we're, now you got me talking, you got me thinking about food here. After league meal. What do you mean? Oh, no. This is going to be, I could go, I could go pretty hot with this take here, but I feel like there's a clear number one in this category. There is a clear number one, and I don't want you to take it. Oh, well, then I'm definitely going to. So I'm going after league meal. So we got to take a food and a drink. We got to take a food and And a drink. It can't be replicated. Either one. Okay. I'm going after league meal. I'm going wings and beer. (sighs) Damn it. (laughs) That's like all beer. Are we going to specify a beer? I can specify a beer. beer. It, if you want to specify, if you want to take all beer, take all beer. I'm taking beer because this is, I'm, I'm winning this draft. So I'm taking Pain. beer. I mean, it's just, that's it. That's, that's, I feel like that's, there are other good answers to this, but that's number one. That's it. It's just, you finish up your games, take the cleats off, you go to, go to the bar, get some wings and beer. Maybe you do a little karaoke. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> On a Monday night? Look. <laughs> There's karaoke every night of the week. <laughs> that's it. I'm winning the draft, and that's this is gonna my yeah, cornerstone probably. pick. I'm really, I'm really sad about that. That's what I wanted. <sighs> What's? I didn't even put a second. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> I have my food because I'm not a wings gal. Um, well, I feel like I, I feel like beer is the drink. Beer is the drink. So if you wanna, if you want me to like narrow my beer, like I can narrow it a little no, bit. No, no, P- you're that's part no. of the draft. Okay, good. You, you, it's how it works. You, you set the rule. All right, I'm gonna. Okay, I guess I'm gonna go with professional athlete first. I'm gonna choose um, the woman matching player. So I was at a bit of a disadvantage along with scotty i'm not really i don't really watch sports i'm wearing a portland Blazers <laughs> <laughs> shirt right now i really only watch the nba which is men um so because of that the uh woman matching professional athlete i chose is from the wnba and i am choosing the most probably cop-out answer from the <laughs> wnba sue bird oh hell yeah <laughs> she's on my list Oh, good. I'm glad I chose her now. Um, but yeah, so my reasoning behind this, one, whatever professional athlete you're going to get, they're not really going to understand Frisbee because they're not have played Frisbee unless there's other people there. So I had to pick a sport that I vaguely understand. And <laughs> basketball is like the next closest thing that I got. I could kind of explain like pivoting and picks and stuff and relate it to basketball. So that was the one thing, basketball player. Two, um, she's 40 years old, and you would think that might be a disadvantage. But if she's still playing at 40 years old, she obviously knows how to take care of her body, injury management, all of their stuff. And the big difference with Frisbee versus other sports is that you just play eight, seven, eight games all in the span of one weekend rather than one game on one night. And that's going to be a big toll on your body. So I think she understands, like, that injury prevention, maintenance, and stuff. She's going to know her body. She's going to know how hard to go because she's been in the game for so long. So that's my pick for that. It's a great pick. I feel like by the end of the first game, she's going to be teaching you about ultimate. Probably. That's how. That's <laughs> that's how. Like. Uh, that's how she is. That's a great pick. All right, and then for my, I'm also going to do for my double pick. I'm going to do my professional athlete man matching. This one might be a little bit of a 
I could make a joke here. I don't know enough about it. Out of left field, what position does Aaron Judge play? Right field. <laughs> right, right field, field. damn it. <laughs> 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 I could make a joke. See, I don't know sports very well. You're just but going high. Aaron Judge, he he's big. It's I like big tall guys that are big. Also, okay, so <laughs> he is so six foot seven. That's a big advantage. So one, I could just huck it to him in the end zone and he could just stand over someone and get it. And that's fine. Two, he has like a wicked, I think like dash. Quick dash speed. I don't know the correct term. Sprint? It's like very fast. Sprint. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a <laughs> word you're looking for, sprint. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Okay, yeah. So, he's fast. <laughs> <laughs> he's fast. Um, two, he's in the outfield. So one, he knows how to like read and catch a ball slash disc if we're pretending it's frizzy. So mm-hmm. he, he can read, he can get to it. And then two, he has that arm. Maybe he's going to be that, that center handler that's just massively over the mark and didn't just huck it to the end zone. Aaron Judge hucks to Sue Bird into the end zone. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yes, he will be my my pick for male matching. All right. That's a good pick. That is a good pick. Although fuck the Yankees, but I'll I'll accept that pick. Fuck you, Lubes. <laughs> fuck the fuck the Mets. Yeah, fuck the Mets. I think the Mets are about to sweep a doubleheader tonight, so Ooh, baseball. Uh-huh. You suck. No, they're losing. Okay, never mind. Um <laughs> classic. Thanks for letting me down, Mets. Um All right, draft strategies. I'm jumping in. I'm saying the best draft strategy is dating the best player in the league. (laughs) A strategy that I utilize. (laughs) Hey, what was that tweet I sent you that was like, the dream is to be like the best male and female player and dominate me? Yes, (laughs) yes. That's the dream. Yes, it's on a, I think I operate on a much uh, smaller scale, but... I was just seeing if I got a reaction out of her. She's so I was I was debating about this one. So, like for you, it makes sense because Emily is a very good player. So I think that strategy we can say like it passes with flying colors. If like Scotty or myself, like let's say myself, if I <laughs> what do you have to say about strategy, Sponge right now? <laughs> <laughs> If I were to say my strategy is to draft the best player in the league, do does su- Sponge suddenly become like a pro AUDL player, or does everyone else get worse? It's tough, you know. It's just it's so much easier to stand out. <laughs> I think I think you. <laughs> I think it involves a very hard conversation with Sponge. I think that's what this is coming down to. <laughs> um, okay. All right. (laughs) Well, I don't have any uh, good draft strategies. So I'm going to go with after league meal because I want to make sure that my backup drank is not taken by pockets um, because obviously beer is the correct answer. Beer is the correct answer. But I'm going to go White Claw. It's the summer. We need a light refresher. So, and for food, this is kind of a hot take, but I'm... I'm a goblin that lives off of mac and cheese. So Ooh. I like it. Get some like bar mac and cheese. They get a little breadcrumb action sprinkled on top, comes out in a skillet. Kind of weird mix with the white claw, but Lube's already took my beer, so I'm gonna go with that. Okay. No, that's good. That's good. And if you can get like some That's a good choice. Get like some protein in there too, with like in the mac and cheese. That's a Yeah, you got carbs, you got cheese. That's a good pick. Recovery food. That's a good pick. Um Okay, warm-up song. Sponge is going to like this one uh, because I also am going to go with lubes and be a white girl and choose a Drake song. (laughs) Um, My weird thing is, like, I'm never in charge of, like, aux at uh, Frisbee events, and I just feel like other people genuinely do a better job than me. But I just have this, like, 
this is this is a core memory if we're talking like pixar inside out like this is one of my core <laughs> memories is warming up during a thunderstorm at d3 nationals in 2018 who could forget that time um we and were all there we were all there and sponge was on ox and he played look alive by drake and i was like i don't know why i was so hype about it but like this like core memory of like us warming up to look alive by sponge cheering all of us on because he was like the only spectator and then not playing for three hours because of the thunderstorm like takes me back so to white girls i guess that's myself everywhere and um, sponge and sponge, <laughs> and, sponge and lubes I feel like a good We're going with another Drake song. a warm up song's got to be a bop, but it also like I feel like a a truly great warm up song. Like it brings you back to like a certain sort of time or a feeling or something like that. So yeah, when you felt like on top of the world. Hell yeah, yeah, yeah. Good pick. Yeah. So it's it's more the the story than like the fact that like it just has a good beat. Yeah. You know. So. I think we're back to you. All right. Lubitz. So I'm going, I'm going to do both of them. No, actually, I only get one pick. I'm so used to you guys yeah. take, taking the, uh, this. You're the one that assigned the draft. I know, the I know, and I'm not mad. Um, <laughs> I'm going to take my female professional athlete is, is Odyssey Alexander, who is the pitcher for the JMU softball team. Obviously not professional. She is now a professional athlete. I should add, she plays for a professional softball team at a, a in a league that's out of Chicago. She is an absolute workhorse. In the World Series, I had to compile the stats. She pitched 434 pitches in four games, um, and they made it like very far. And, and this is like an unranked team that she dragged to maybe the final four or whatever, like she dragged them pretty far. And so why I think she'd be good at ultimate is that she like, you've all had that day at summer league where nobody shows up. You have just a skeleton crew. You have like, you're playing like maybe you got three women there on that day or something like that. Like she would be able to play every point, not a problem. Um, she's gritty. She's going to make plays. Um, but she's also like, they showed her like all the time, like in the, after the games and stuff, she's like goofy. She's having fun. Like, it just seems like it's just an all around good experience. She's my, she's my star in my draft here so far. Yeah, we'll take it. I like the pick. I like it. My meal choice is staring at me on my phone. (laughs) It's long gone. (laughs) I don't know what my other option is going to be. Um, okay. So I have two picks. I'm going to go. I'm going to pick draft strategy. Um, so my draft strategy is texting um, all the college players that I know in the league to figure out um, what their unknown college players that are going to be playing in the league are like. I did this specifically with Pasta <laughs> when I was about to draft um, Spring League 2020 before everything shut R-I-P. down. So, yeah. So I like just texted Pasta. I was like, who are these Lafayette people? Um, who are these mule? Oh, I texted Saval. Mm. Who are these Muhlenberg people? <laughs> nice. So just like texting people to figure out who these random college kids are. Getting so the that's my draft scoop. strategy. Insider info, yeah. Illegal on Wall Street, but very, yeah, very like, legal not, here. Wor- do not move to New York, <laughs> but works for Summer League. <laughs> works for Summer League. You know what? I'm, I'm ready. I'm going to do me. Yes, All right. let's go. Chicken tendies. Fries and a dirty Shirley. Ooh, Ooh that's a good one. <laughs> Emily was having a Shirley Temple on Monday night, and it made me think of it. So we're doing chicken tendies, fries, dirty Shirley. That's good. That's a good pick. So lubes, your neck, your pick is next. Wow, I'm up again. Yeah. Wow. Now this might be my Only most. One. This might be the most controversial pick, or it might be my best pick. I'm going professional athlete, and I'm going okay. male, and I'm going okay. Spitfire the dog. Ooh. Men with complete <laughs> silence. Spitfire the dog is a a 21 time world record holder. He's a whippet that ESPN recently. <laughs> it's a dog. It's a, it's it's a, a dog. dog. It's a dog. It's a whippet. <laughs> 
And ESPN, <laughs> ESPN did the documentary about him. It's like a 12 minute little short documentary. They call him, he's the Michael Jordan of dogs. And he's got all the world records for like jumping. Like they do the event where he runs and jumps into the pool and he like gets the thing up in the air. He's doing all the events. And I figured just lean into it for the amount of times I've been asked, is that the sport with the dogs? Spitfire the dog, going to dominate, got the longest jump, the highest jump, fastest speed. I'm doing it. He's a professional athlete. I thought you he's, were choosing some. I thought it was like some like an evil Knievel type of. Like, oh no! <laughs> you're choosing like a like a boxer. Like WWE. Like, WWE like if that's his name. It's just Spitfire the dog. Yeah. No, no, uh, it's a whippet. It's a dog. <laughs> okay, I will go with draft strategy. Okay, my draft strategy is to just baggage with a friend. So that way, at least I know one person on my team. <laughs> but you're the one drafting. That's not how that works. No, I don't want a captain. I don't want to be in charge. Um, <laughs> <laughs> pass off responsibilities to someone That's else. That's actually that can be a that draft strategy. Is a strategy. You have to draft someone who's in the room, and then they take over the draft for you. That should be the okay. strategy. We're, we're making that Scotty's draft strategy. So I did that. I did that with. Uh, I drafted. Emily came and I, I drafted Emily and then the whole time I was like, Emily, what should I do? And she's like, you should draft this person. And I was like, all right, I'm drafting this person. That was the whole time. Perfect. Boom. I like and it. I guess that leaves me with male professional athlete. I, I got to choose someone because you'd think that I would have thought ahead. You'd think that I would have planned ahead, but no. Um, said I watched Simone Biles do flips. And you know who else I watched run earlier is Matthew Centrowitz, who is a very decorated 1500 meter runner. So he's got the endurance. He's got the speed over a mile because um, he's mostly, you know, 1500s a mile. So and he seems cool and fun and has like skinny boy swag, which I think is imperative to being an ultimate frisbee skinny player. Skinny boy swag. <laughs> like he's like a string bean boy, but he's oh, like, no, cool a bean pole boy. Yeah. Oh, bean pole boy. Sorry. Um, so I'll go with, I'll go with a professional Nike athlete, Matthew Centrowitz. He seems cool and fun. I'm sure that, you know, I did not research him and maybe there's some weird controversy, but we'll go. I don't maybe know. he's been canceled. Just, <laughs> yeah. He, I don't know. He'll, maybe he'll make his like third Olympics this next tomorrow, tomorrow. So stay tuned on the NBC Olympics app. Seems like a good hang. All right, Chungus. All right, I'm gonna go. I'm going uh, climate, and so climate. Oh. I it's I haven't picked it, so I got to do it. I'm going 80 to 90 degrees because that is the most comfortable thing left. I, in my opinion, I'm I'm a fan of when it's a little bit warmer. I sweat no matter what, so I want everyone on the same playing field as me. <laughs> um, We're all damp. I'm going. Uh, sl- sunny and slightly cloudy. You've been taking. I'll just go overcast. I guess that's that's all that's left in the normal weather. And then I'm going if, as far as wind goes. I'm going ten to fifteen miles an hour, and I'm doing that because I consider that a thrower's wind. In, in and what I mean by that is that people who are good at throwing still do well, and everyone else sucks. And uh, <laughs> That gives me an advantage because uh, when it comes to athleticism, that's where I am uh, very deficient. So give me every advantage I can get. Give me the wind. Um, and then maybe maybe the other team will play zone. And I love playing zone offense. That is the only reason why I, I keep plugging zone. away at this dumb sport is to play zone offense. <laughs> so give me, the, give me all you got. All right. I'll take it. So I think we're cutting out sideline snack because no one cares about it. So I have warm up song and I have ultimate player. So I'm gonna go with warm up song first. Lubes and Scotty both know because they know me very well. I love my Russian weird <laughs> men. <laughs> so we're gonna Rob, go with Rasputin. <laughs> yes, we're gonna go with a remix of a classic. We're gonna with, go with Rasputin, but the heavy metal remix. Um, I have no idea how to pronounce this um, artist's name, 
Tursas. It's T U R I S A S. And that shit gets me going. <laughs> the two songs that I like are just like an aggressive build up to a bass drop or constant screaming. And this one falls in the second <laughs> category. And then my ultimate player of choice. And the reason I picked this last is because I knew no one's going to pick it. And I have a really dumb, sappy reason for it. I'm picking Sponge. Because, yeah, he and I haven't played in a summer league together since 2016. Ooh. Sappy pick. I want to play with him. Sappy pick. Okay. Oh. <laughs> that was no, the summer I just league. Play. It's- that, that was the summer league. I remember you guys were on the same team. Because that was the year before I came to Lehigh, and I was like, hey, I want to get to know people on Lehigh. So I came over, hey, guys, what's going on? Pockets was just, like, doing homework on the sideline. I wasn't And she was just homework. like, hey. <laughs> and then I was mono. like, okay, great, see you later. <laughs> I had mono. I had mono, and I was taking stats, and I was so dead tired. I couldn't walk up the stairs without having to sit down. <laughs> I laugh, but mono sucks. Been mono there. sucks. Um, so, yeah, I'm choosing Sponge. I haven't played a Summer League with him since 2016, and I don't play Summer League to win. I play Summer League to have a good time. So me and Aaron Judge and <laughs> Sue Bird <laughs> and Sponge are going to hang out, and we're going to get chicken tenders and dirty Shirley's. <laughs> Absolutely. It's going to be you, Aaron Judge, Sue Bird, Sponge, and the gr- grouchy old man that's on your team. <laughs> Tom and Hank can come too. Oh, man. All oh, right. Man. Well, that's my draft pick. I'm locked in. You're all locked in. I think I only have one category left here, and that's I got to take a stereotype. And so. Yeah, me too. I, I got to switch it up a little bit. Um, I, I think a couple of my preferred choices are a little bit too close to you, what you took already. (laughs) So I gotta go. I just, I think this is such a, such a, again, a quintessential summer league experience. Give me the girlfriend who's playing Frisbee for the first time. Woo! I want, I yeah. want, I want the guy who's bringing his girlfriend, and he's like, "Hey, can she play?" She's never played. Yes, give me, give me all you got of that. I love that. I love that. Like, you got like three people like bringing her aside, trying to teach them like intricacies of like zone offense or some <laughs> bullshit, and then like she's just out there like running around having a good time. I, I, I love that. I love that so much. Give me that. I like it. That's a good choice. But it don't. I want the 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 stereotype. I want as far away from me the guy who injures the girlfriend yeah. who's playing for the first Sad time. Girlfriend. Get that guy out of here. <laughs> Get that guy out of here. Or the guy. It's and it's always a guy who just gets so mad at them for not understanding what's going on. Get out of here. Get 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 away from me. I don't want Scotty. Draft one of them. <laughs> Draft one. I'm not them. <laughs> I don't want them because, like, while I'm not, I'm not the girlfriend that like is playing for the first time. I'm if the, that girlfriend's not there, I'm the one getting hurt and <laughs> getting hit by a six foot Get him plus on your tall team. man has hurt, like happened more times than I care to admit and has hurt every time. So I don't want no because usually it's my own teammate. Oh, they don't trust me to get the disc and they're bigger and faster, so they run through me. <laughs> and I'm like, hey, I know I'm down here by your way. But I, I still exist. I have rights. So, um, no, I'm not taking him. He he can also go play. They, yeah. Anyway. There's a fourth team of losers that we put on the really far field. <laughs> <laughs> they have to scrimmage each other. They have to play many. Um, okay. My summer league state. So, I, like, full disclosure, for I guess our listeners, because you guys probably know this, I have only played one season of summer league. Um, between the pandemic and me joining Frisbee late, um, I'm not very ex- like well versed in the uh, personalities of uh, summer league, so um, I guess I'm gonna have to go with like also what I've seen on um, on like club teams that I've tried out for, and it's uh, you know <laughs> we keep bringing her up. It's uh, it's the girl that's like really good. Um, 
It's it's Emily. <laughs> like the girl that can lay out and handle and like honestly like runs train on all the guys because she's just better than all these like dudes that think they're you know, hot shit. And um give me her. She gives me confidence and she is what I aspire to be. So I need that inspiration on my team. Um so yeah, I'll me and her are gonna buddy up with uh Simone Viles and Matthew Centrowitz and <laughs> That's a good pick. Drink white claws. Such a weird group of people. <laughs> yeah, like the average height there is <laughs> like five feet. <laughs> Going with speed. Yeah, exactly. Speed and positioning. That rules. That's a good pick. Uh, all right. Thank you. So I think yeah, no we, one suspects the girl. No one. So I think we we ha- we have our drafts. Everyone, why don't we just go in order? Scotty, Lubes, and then myself. Quickly, just go through your picks and maybe give like a. 30 second reason why you think yours is the best. So my warm up song, we're warming up to um, Look Alive by Drake. I know it's like, it's definitely like a white kid rap song, but um, it slaps and it makes you feel bad as while you're warming up. Um, after League, after league, we are going to somewhere to drink White Claws and eat mac and cheese. Um, no sideline snack. Uh, also, um, we'll be with uh, Marcus Brownlee, so he'll, I don't know, teach us how to play. <laughs> just or just casually. Like, like kill it, you know, make us all like look really good. Um, and uh, also uh, Simone Biles and Matthew Centerwitz. So the paparazzi will be on the sideline. Um, it will be mid sixties and uh, sunny. So make sure you bring sunblock and sunglasses. Um, and there, there'll only be a little bit of wind. So it's um, going to carry your disc if you're going the right way. Uh, it's going to be Tuesday. Uh, make sure you bring your sun hoodie and um, Emily I'll see you there. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, Emily's on Lubes' team and Scotty's That's team right. at the same time. That's right. Because yes. I'm dating the best player. <laughs> oh, yeah. My draft uh, my draft um, scenario, my, my draft strategy is to get someone else that knows better than me to make the decisions. It's probably Emily. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Lube, it's... Yeah. Okay. So we're warming up to uh, Nice for What... By Drake. Um, after the game, we're getting some wings and beer to uh, wash down our almost definite victory, uh, led by Alex Snyder of San Francisco Fury and Spitfire the Dog. <laughs> 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 and, and, and Odyssey Alexander of JMU, my my current personal hero. Uh Sorry, Spitfire. Uh, your throws are going to be pretty terrible in this 10 to 15 mile per hour wind. <laughs> it's going to be 80 to 90 degrees, so we might need some shade for that dog, which is good because it's going to be overcast. We're going to play Monday, our, our Monday night league. Uh, draft strategy, date the best player. My stereotype, uh, give me the girl. Girlfriend playing Frisbee for the first time. That's my that's my uh, ideal summer league. Love it. Cool. All right, <laughs> me and my I'm I'm changing it slightly. I'm making the crotchety old man also my co captain. <laughs> okay. So me and me and Han are going down. We're texting <laughs> all the <laughs> we're texting all the college kids in the area. We're like, hey, who's this newbie that's that's on your team? We're getting them on there. They got speed. They got legs. Han can huck to them. It's perfect. We're wa- rocking our reversible pennies, um, <laughs> specifically the Alpha Sigma Sigma one that just says ass on the front of it. <laughs> um, we got Aaron Judge, six foot seven. He's going to be our center handler with Hayen. He's going to huck it to Sue Bird in the end zone. <laughs> and then she's going to spike it. Woo! Um, we're warming up to Rasputin, the metal remix, because <laughs> I want to annoy everyone on my team <laughs> and on the other team this warm-up song is for me only <laughs> what else oh it's gonna be 70 to 79 the nice middle range not too hot not too cold it's gonna be a little bit cloudy though so sometimes you'll get, feel that cloud go over you and you'll have a bit of nice shade and no wind because i can't throw backhand very well <laughs> Um, we're hopping this on Wednesday night, and afterwards, we're going to go out to the bar and get chicken tendies, fries, and dirty Shirley's. 
Did I miss Woo! anything? <laughs> no. That's it. All right. Well, thank you very much, Lubes, for hopping on this. We're going to post these options on our Twitter. Please go vote for you th- who you think is going to have the best summer league experience. I think Lubes and Scotty are going for the win. I'm going for having a good time. <laughs> And hey, if you think that you have a better pick um, for any of the categories, they'll be listed. So let us know. Yeah, I, I want to hear what ultimate player you want to play with, what professional athlete you want to play with, and what your post drink of drink and meal of choice are. <laughs> Specifically, it's gonna be a lot of beer. You might be getting some hate mail from the in the fields guys because those are the biggest summer league advocates I've I've uh, I've seen. So they they may be coming in with some, I don't know, even hotter takes on summer league. You might have to have a, uh, yeah, you might have to have them on to contest this. (laughs) We'll see. We'll see. We'll see if they ever want to speak to us again. (laughs) But thank you so much, Lubes, for coming on. Do you have anything you want to shout out before you leave? Anything to plug? Uh, No. Aside from Spitfire the dog. Yes. ESPN, Google search ESPN Spitfire. He's the Michael Jordan of dogs. He rules. (laughs) Watch college softball. Okay. Yes. Watch college softball. <laughs> Listen to <All> Drake. Right. <laughs> Ever heard of him? <laughs> Drake beer. All really right. dangerous. <laughs> All right. Well, it was nice talking to you, Lou. Yeah, thanks yeah, for joining thanks us. Thanks for having me. Anytime. Bye bye. All right. Thanks so much, Lubes, for joining us. And for those of you that are subscribed to Ulti World or are we're on the fence and now want to uh, and are convinced, uh, subscribe to Ulti World and join us in the PS Zone where we bring Lubes back and we discuss some of the celebrities and some of that, that he would bag it with. He had some additional ideas and um, any of the responses that we got on our Twitter yeah, anything that didn't make the cut either. I have I have some some athletes, professional athletes that are so close. I also <laughs> <laughs> Sponge was looking at my list. I had Bill Nye on there as my second <laughs> choice. <laughs> Cause he plays Frisbee. I but didn't know that. That's a little Learned something new. Yeah. yeah. I thought he would he seems like a nice guy. He'd probably be fun. Yeah. But anyway, if you don't already and you want to interact with us further, we are on Twitter and Instagram, and we also have uh, email. So uh, laying it out, Twitter underscores between the words, Instagram periods between the words, and uh, <laughs> it's all one word for the email. So making it easy on the email, laying it out at oldtworld.com. Yep. So that's all we have time for for this week's episode. And for now, I've been Scotty Dempsey. I've been Chelsea Pockets. And we'll catch you on the flip.